Now, International Coffee Day is an occasion that is used to promote and celebrate coffee as a beverage with events now occurring in places across the world. The first official date was October the 1st, 2015, as agreed by an international coffee organization and was launched in Milan. Since then, it has been an annual practice to raise awareness about the health and economic benefits of coffee consumption. And now with me is Adeinka Tekena, the founder of Happy, Life, Happy Coffee Nigeria. She joins us to tell us how Nigerians are developing taste for coffee and its economic values. Good morning, Good Adeinka. Good morning, thank you. Thanks Good to have you this morning. Same here. So, uh, first of all, yesterday took away our coffee because yesterday was supposed to be the actual day, but the independence rather took away our coffee. Both <laughs> of it for us works. <laughs> okay, so uh, our first question would be, how are Nigerians actually, how huge is the community Nigerians who take coffee? How huge? First things first, let's start with how many states in Nigeria can grow coffee. Mm. 22 states in Nigeria can grow coffee, including all the south, south, and southwest states, including Lagos. Yes, it's that. So um, some states are growing actively all the way from Abia, Cross River, Kogi, Taraba, Oyo, Undo, are all growing coffee, not at a significant level, but they're doing a lot of work. Mm. So we would like to also point a, a lot of work into what our farmers are doing because celebrating International Coffee, the agenda this year, is to focus on our farmers to see how we can help them develop more sustainable ways of keeping their products and their communities. Mm -hmm. yeah. So are you saying that we have a huge community of consumption, people who consume uh, coffee, coffee in Nigeria? Nigeria. Um, from a lot of studies, it shows that five out of every 10 Nigerians drink coffee in a certain way every day. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot. Okay. Now, despite uh, the rising demand for coffee globally, Nigerian yes. farmers uh, seem not to be tapping into this because if you didn't mention, you know, I wouldn't have known we have yes. 22 states uh, growing coffee. What are the challenges? Some of the challenges are obviously they, they are not a lot of spotlight to what our farmers are doing. And I think that's what we're going to be doing at the first ever Lagos Coffee Festival that is holding this coming Saturday. And the goal is to showcase the entire economy around coffee in Nigeria showing that there is an active economy, there is an actual um, community, and there's a culture that can be developed. So a lot of the issues our farmers are having is one, there is no access to market, and mm -hmm. it's because people don't even know that they grow coffee. So we're going a lot of awareness around that, and that's the first goal for our own um, farmers in Nigeria. Okay, so having said that, for a starter, how easy is it to start cultivation and what is the implication in terms of capital, you know, capital generation for the so economy? So when I, I first like to say that um, what oil is to what is what um, coffee is to a country like Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil is the highest producer and exporter of coffee around the world. So if you look at planting and um, cultivating coffee, it has to do with, and first thing, it takes about three years for an actual plant of coffee to grow. But looking at that, there's a lot of work that we need to do as a country. First mm -hmm. is creating policies and frameworks that support, the, that support the growth of coffee. I think that's the first place we need to get to as a country as, you know, at first, then we begin to look at, because our farmers are already growing, but what they need is more access to ex better expertise, um, planting cultures so that they can grow their produce pro properly okay lastly this this your statement brought, brings me to the last question which is how can the government you know encourage the cultivation of coffee in nigeria and um, there has to be an active decision in terms of creating a bill or a law that supports first we have to look at are we, I, and this is a question i always ask if you go into a supermarket right now if you look at your shelves there's coffee everywhere mm. the question is where does that coffee come from we need to first answer the coffee that we drink in nigeria is it from the nigerian farmers or are we importing all of our coffee if we answer those questions along that line we'll begin to make policies to ensure that whether we export or we are consuming locally there has to be frameworks and policies to support um, local consumption that means that we must protect our farmers by law hmm. many thanks a day in katekena for joining us you know to shed more light and tell us a little bit more about coffee thank you